There you go. No, no, no. Yeah, it's see, 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 see. See. You want your neighbors to know? No, no, please. Hey, guys. So I can go over there. Hey, brother. Can I get some ice cream with you? No, 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 no. Yeah. Vitaly has been on one recently, especially over there on kick. Shaving, hair today, and eyebrows. We, I shaved, actually I shaved my pubes a few days ago with this. We're gonna shave their eyebrows, <coughs> and we're gonna shave the pubes. You probably heard of him when that news broke out. Remember when he took a bunch of mushrooms and just decided to beat up this innocent woman who was jogging on the beach? Like imagine that your sister or your mother is telling you, oh hun, I'm gonna get my steps in for today. Then I don't know where some Russian roided out meathead just beats the crud out of her. It says here, the arrest came after a woman told police that she was jogging alone when Vitaly accosted her and threw her to the ground. She told police that the YouTube star straddled her and began punching her repeatedly in the chest, neck, and face. So because of this personally, Vitaly has always creeped me out. I don't know, it's just something about those eyes that gives me the heebie-jeebies. And it's not mentioned that one collab he did on that no-no site. If you know, you know, that's all I gotta say. However, he's now been recently on a redemption arc after leaving prison. I think it's way better to have him on our side than having him against us, you know what I mean? And I guess he's trying to turn in a new leaf. Now, instead of beating up women, he's now beating up pedophiles, allegedly, okay? Allegedly beating them up, which kind of not so much, because if you see the footage, it's kind of like borderline there. It almost seems like for every punch she punched that innocent woman, he's trying to like absolve himself of these sins and essentially he's been live streaming all of these captures and sting operations up on stream on kick for everyone to watch and laugh at i here present you straight from dc forgot uh miss patricia miss jenkins oh oh miss T miss tanisha don't worry miss tanisha is here to save the day well, get the track get the track I'm calling this first case the cheeser pedophile because apparently a lot of people are saying that he looks like cheeser, a streamer. I don't know who he is, but let's just call him that. From my understanding, the way how Vitalia has been capturing these creeps is that he's been learning them with fake profile accounts, fake decoys, and messaging them and trying to set up an appointment to do some illegal activity things, only for them to come and find a roided out freakazoid Vitali waiting for them. Talk to us now. Sit down. Shh. Stop yelling. No, please, Close no, the no, fucking cuffs now. Then sit down. Okay, sit down. Wait, 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 wait. You want your neighbors to know? No, no, please. Yeah? No, no, please. What, you want to go? No. Do you want to go home? No. Yes, please. You want to go home? Please. Okay, I'm going to shave your head and your eyebrows. Okay? 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 Yes? Deal. Deal. Go get the shaver in the truck. Go now. Now. And once Vitaly has him in his grips, it's like game over for them. He borderline tortures him and definitely embarrasses him in front of millions of people to watch. Eat this. This is your warm up. Eat this. Don't ask questions, just eat it. Good boy. Doesn't that face kind of remind you of that baby monkey that gets taken away from his family by a leopard or a jaguar or something? Both of them just accepting your fate. You want some water? Here. No. Life is crazy, right? But I'm crazier. I find it super ironic how they can barely even handle how spicy that chip is in comparison to what's waiting for them after this life. Because you, we all know there's a special reserved place for people just like him. I'm talking about hell. Here, have some water, bro. Three sips for good luck. One more. See, I'm a good guy, bro. I didn't have to give you this. I care about you. I feel bad for you. You're better than that. Will we ever do this again? Don't you? You will? No, 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 no. I meant like, sorry, I didn't hear what you said. That's not You're, what are you doing? No, no, I'm gonna yeah, shave your eyebrows. Sure. You look perfect. And this is what you do. Hey, that wasn't true. You said you were only gonna get my eyebrows. Famous last words. Okay, jokes aside, compared to what would actually happen to them if they did go to prison, honestly, what's currently happening to them is peaches and cream in comparison. This is just chump change because we all know what happens to these type of individuals when they go to prison. Like when Vitaly asks him, do you want to shave your head or go to prison? He's basically asking them, do you want a plane ticket to a five-star resort, all expenses paid, full course meal, massage parlor included, or do you want to get brutally murdered and go out the worst way imaginable in prison? That's basically what he's asking them. And that's why all these creeps let Vitaly do whatever they want. As crazy as Vitaly may look like, there's nothing <laughs> there's nothing in that dome that he can dish out more crazier than what people at the prison will do to them. 
So the other case that has gone viral all over Twitter includes Vitaly as Miss Tanisha. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but Vitaly looks 10 times more menacing dressed up as a girl in a dress. And no amount of makeup or lipstick can remove that craziness. <laughs> Miss Tanisha. How are you? Bring him this way. How are you, baby? Come here, brother. Come here, come here, come here. Hey, just come talk here. to him. Come just come talk here. to him for a second. Come here, come here. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Hey, just talk Hold to him. Hold my phone. Hold my phone. Hey, hey, bro, just make it easy. Just talk to him. Yeah! Yeah! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Vitaly has gone way too far here. How dare you, Vitaly? Do that in front of Target out of all places. Take that shit to Walmart, not Target. He looks young, but he's actually 24 years old. Nah, nah, nah. We have all the messages, bro. Nah. Nah. <laughs> We have all this evidence against him. We have all these chat logs. We have your DNA at the crime scene. What do you have to say for yourself? Nah, nah. My bad, dog. I guess it wasn't you. And like every superhero has their superpower, and Miss Tanisha's superpower is the good old hot chip and shave combo. Go ahead and say that three times. Eat, fucker. Eat. Faster, bro. No fucking agua, too, bro. You're not gonna get any fucking meal. Suffer. You know what I would do to you if I saw you in jail? Uh huh. Beautiful. Hmm? Yeah, enjoy. Enjoy, good boy. <laughs> You're in an alley now. Something funny fucking to you? Really? Snap, I'm gonna go to jail. Okay. Tell him I will go to fucking jail. It won't be my first time. No, no, no. Playing games with me! No juegas con el, Stop! Good boy. Quítalo. Great. Got his other one too, bro. Of course. Be a child predator again. Aquí, ooh la la. Beautiful. Alright. So yeah, this is miserable, and the fact that there's hundreds and thousands of people actively watching these streams, people are probably going to recognize their faces, maybe even their family members, and it certainly doesn't help their case with the fact that there are bigger content creators like Aiden Ross reacting to these clips, and especially me and my 22 subscribers watching this, it's not going to bode well for them. I genuinely wonder what kind of aftermath there is for them. Like, how is their family going to react to this? Imagine the amount of disappointment they're going to have. I can't even imagine. Now, some of you guys are going to hate what I'm about to say, but as entertaining as this whole entire thing is, Vitaly isn't doing this the right or legal way. I'm not a cop and I don't really know things about the law, but I have heard that it's kind of hard to arrest these pedophiles because even if you do have evidence, sometimes depending on how you got that evidence, it can be disqualified in the court of law. And I've even heard in some cases, the criminal has gotten away scot-free. All I'm saying is usually to be a successful predator hunter, you usually need to be working with cops and not against them. The same way how Chris Hansen has been doing it all these years. And Vitaly isn't doing this. I don't know, why do I feel like putting people in a chokehold and beating them up out in the public isn't illegal to me? I don't know, it just doesn't seem illegal. I'm actually kind of surprised he hasn't gotten arrested yet, especially since he has had run-ins with cops recently. And of course, right after that clip, Cops were involved. We have a good heart. What the fuck? Is that us? Are they pulling us over? Oh, it's looking perfect. What's up, boys? Vitaly, you good? I'm good. How are you? Open the door, bro. Um, no, you gotta let it go. I wanted to suck his dick, but he didn't let me. I was like, you want an adult? So I dressed up as a girl. I was like, come fuck me, come fuck me, but he wouldn't fuck me. Oh my god, I said it once and I'll say it again. Thank God he's on our side. I'll tell you what, if we do have any other questions, if it's all right with you, we have a contact number Please. now, I'll give you a call. Please. I understand if you're not willing to talk to us about what's going on, you guys are handling your stuff. No, 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 I'm, not, I'm telling you, everything you needed to know. Yeah. And the thing is this, like I told you earlier, it's all about optics, whether your intentions are well, like, you know what I mean, to see what it is that you can do. If somebody sees you guys ganging up on somebody or trying to get their attention, they're going to perceive it a different way and we're going to come out with the intention of talking to you guys. Okay. okay? Cool. I appreciate you being cool. Of course. And if there's nothing else that you need, we'll let you guys go. You probably have a busy night. Do you have any Thanks. questions? No? All right, no, bro. that's it. Thank you. All right, take care. Thank right. you. See you. Have a good one. See you. Brian? Close, close, close. close. No, they said we beat him up, bro. People are saying we beat him up. They're probably going to... They, they, we didn't beat him up. You don't think they're going to rewind target cameras? Bro, you didn't beat him like, up. You're not allowed to physically touch somebody. I pulled him. That's not beating up, right? Just, just, just drive, drive, drive. Like I mentioned previously, I really do appreciate Vitaly doing this, right? I love that he's putting this maniac energy into something positive. But if he keeps on doing these things, instead of the predator going to prison, it's going to be him. But I do, do I like, I like hot Cheetos. <laughs> I like hot Cheetos. Hello, sir. Dimitri. Dimitri, sir. <laughs> Oh, this guy's handing me a 15 year old. 
buddy. You think you're 19? I said, I'll see you. You want to see the message? I will bro? take you back to Putin. You got to go be there. Huh? You're going to jail, buddy. So, the rest of this clip is brutal. I mean, he drags him all the way through Walmart, and when Vitaly finally takes this man out, I think this man tries to run away, and without actually paying attention, Vitaly pushes this man towards a mom and a dad pushing a shopping cart with a baby in it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. So yeah, that definitely stopped the man from running away, but it also drew a big crowd and attention to him instead of the predator which freaking sucks because in the clip you see the predator get away and what's stupid about this is that Vitaly gets mad towards the bystanders for stepping in can you believe everybody was defending a child predator bro everybody was defending a child predator bro like what the cops said it's all about optics and what the bystanders see of course they're not gonna let that slide and I would hope they wouldn't honestly here's another example where Vitaly lets another out without doing anything we don't even get to see that good old hot chip and shave combo down here damn you, bro don't ask questions you're gonna fucking do whatever i say it's either jail or you dress up as a girl it's simple as that brother it's not bad i dressed up as a girl everybody dresses up what's up Seven. how are you guys great how are you good come on brother whose idea are we stealing today huh whose idea are we stealing today uh, whose uh, idea is dog food, uh, number one, the dog food with the pepper. I don't watch your fucking videos. Came up to me in Vegas, got my fucking number, says you're yeah. a big fan. Now you're pulling up on me instead of fucking collabing. No, we, hey, okay? no, you've known me for 10 years. Uh, okay, I don't know you for I'm fucking 10 years. Yeah. This time it wasn't actually his fault, but more like bad managing and poor prepping on his end because you know what's better than one roided out crazy head? Two roided out crazy heads. From what I was able to tell from the comments, this bald guy who interrupted everything was apparently an old friend of Vitaly back in the days where they would do fake pranks but now this man is having a pissy fit because apparently Vitaly stole his idea like as if only one person can catch a predator at, at a time like come on we all know who the true OG is here why can't you guys just hunt together use the power of friendship for all I care and while they were arguing meanwhile the predator gets to crawl back to his car and drive off fucking guy he ruined it bro Fucking idiot. Ruined it, my bad. Tell me where you got the idea. God damn. Hey, I'll get the heels. So as you can probably tell, Vitaly isn't doing this mainly for the cause, but it's mainly for entertaining purposes, which in all honesty is way better than not doing anything at all because these people, and I mean it, are the lowest of the lowest scum. I mean they enjoy taking advantage of children and that's something I absolutely hate with a passion. I think I speak for everyone here when I say that they deserve everything that happens to them in prison. While it is kind of fun to see these creeps get embarrassed and send them back home, it might not be enough, you know what I mean? What if they come back and try to pull something like this again it might actually be better to just call the cops and turn them in instead the way that i think about it is that if this is their first time doing this hopefully this traumatic experience for them will be a damn good deterrence to make sure that they don't do this again but if it's someone who's already done it in the past that guy should not go back home he needs to be in prison where he belongs anyway that's all i had to say about this case honestly me and miss nisha are gonna head out as always thanks for watching bye Oh,